Hello friends, this is Kalpesh Satasya. Today we are going to learn about ASP.NET Core Signal R. What is Signal R? ASP.NET Core Signal R is open source library that simplify adding real-time web functionality to app. Real-time web functionality enables server-side code to push content to the clients instantly. That means we achieve with the real-time web applications like chat application or real-time notification application in the web. What are the features? It's handle connection management automatically. That means signal our connection server side and client side manage automatically. We don't have to worry about. Send messages to all connected clients simultaneously. For example, a chat room. Send messages to specific clients or group of clients. Scale to handle increasing traffic. That means SignalR can capable to handle send messages to all client devices simultaneously or send message to specific user. Prerequisites. First of all, we have to be latest version of Visual Studio, latest version of .NET Core and two packages, one for the server side and one for the client side. That will be a Microsoft.ASP.NET Core.SignalR is for the NuGet package and client side will be a micro at Microsoft SignalR at Lattice. So that will give the latest version of client side package. Okay, let's check with the example. Here we are creating the ASP.NET web applications and we give this name as SignalR app. We are choosing the MVC application here. Okay, we are created the MVC application. Now we are going to be add the NuGet packages. Right click on the solution and choose the manage NuGet package. Or you can comfortable with the package manager console you can do that. Here we click on the browser and type the signal R we are going to choose the Microsoft air.sp.net core dot signal R click on the install so it will ask all the supported files and we accept it okay it's installed now now we are going to be at the client side one so click on the add and click on the client side library here we can select the unpack and at the red microsoft slash signal r at the red let test now we can untick all file now we can choose the specific file we don't want all we just select the browse and we just select the browse one and untick this map file we don't want the map file and once we install it will be stored under the ww root slash lib slash microsoft slash signal r we are going to be click on installed okay let's check it it's installed in under the lib under the lib microsoft signal r this browser and signal r.js with the magnification file here in js folder i'm going to create a one chat.js file will code going to, will add later but i'm just going to create the chat.js file here and at moment it's going to be a blank okay we'll add the code later now we have added the client side and server side both the libraries now we are going to configure the server side signal r so we are going into the startup.cs file and under the services we are going to be services dot add signal r ok now we want a hub hub is a core part of the application of the signal r right click on a solution add new create new folder and that's name is hub under the hubs we are going to create a class it's called a chat hub and chat hub it's look like something inherited from the hub and there will be a send method there will be a two parameters username and message 
and receive message have also two parameter username and message okay so that will be sent to the all connected clients and this is the chat hub now we are configure this chat hub under the startup.cs file with the endpoints endpoints dot map hub at chat hub at whatever the URL we want to name is so here is chat hub and we give this references properly okay so now we are good with the server side configurations we have added the services and we have added the proper path into the endpoints okay here I have added layout file we are going to be add this both references one is the signal files and one is the chat.js file now going to this index file we just take it off and we're going to be add okay here is the HTML there will be a like user input message input and send button and whatever we send it it will be display under the ULLI in the message list so here the chat.js we have the chat hub it's give the same name of the class and that's is a URL what we have set up on the startup.cs file with the URL okay so here is the connection is created and the connection is start then the send button is there it's if enable disable it's up to us okay here we have clicked the button send button and there will we can pick the username message and pass into the send message so it's it's handle the API is the username and user and message with the send message API and whatever throw with the receive message the client side is have the two parameter username and message and that message we get it and we create the dynamic ally and we append with the message list and we can display it in here message list under that so let's start to run it okay I'm going to copy into the new windows so we are we open the simultaneously side by side here I'm typing the culpes as username and message is hi the click on the send button so you will see in the both window the message is displayed in second window we type the culpes and message is hello and send button so culpes say hello culpes say hi now the culpes say how are you the send message is how are you it's you can see in the both window message will instantly displayed I am good so it's real time you can see in the both window get the messages so this is the like application is connected with the all the clients so whatever the client whatever the user is sent it's get the all the connected clients the messages so hope you like this in upcoming video we'll check one to one chat and one in a group chat so guys hope you like this video please subscribe to the channel if you have any comments please provide in comment section Thank you guys.